hymnals, page 26, we bring the sacrifice of praise. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins, and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, said, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words. For this is what Amos says. Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, Prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The word of the Lord. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, 
and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. All that some of the scribes said to themselves, at that some of the scribes said to themselves, this man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk, but that you may, not, you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins he then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. In the world today, when the church uh, keeps silence about things that are happening, everybody, especially those who are perpetrating things that are not good, uh, will feel comfortable. But when the church rises up and speaks against any kind of evil happening in the world, everything, everybody, those who are in opposition, become even stronger to oppose the church and to remind the church, you are the church, you have to be confined uh, to your masses, to your uh, services. Don't interfere in the life of politics or anything like that. And this is what had happened with the prophets. Uh, we have heard most of these prophets, they were called from their very humble background. Most of them, they were shepherds. Uh, sycamore uh, tree uh, dressers, they had very, very humble beginnings, and people did not have problems with them. But as soon as they were called to become prophets, then everybody was in opposition to them. And that's what we have heard even from uh, Prophet Amos uh, when he confronted the priest Amaziah 
who was corrupted by the king and they had abandoned the covenant of God. And Amos was challenging the priests and challenging even the kings and they were not happy and they wanted to silence him. But he told them, I was not a prophet. I was just a shepherd and a sycamore dresser. But here I am because God called me out of that background to come and do his work. And I'm going to do it. And he did. And he said, still, even if you chase me away, the word of God must be fulfilled. And I think that is uh, the time even for us. You and I, through baptism, uh, we are prophets. And sometimes, like I said, people will be comfortable when you, we remain quiet and silent about certain things happening in the nation, their communities. But as soon as you rise and say something, this is wrong, this is, then everybody will be in opposition. But what we learn from the prophets like Amos, you cannot stop the work of God. We have to continue to stand up for the truth, to stand up for justice, to stand up for unfairness, or any kinds of things that those do not reflect the kingdom of God. That is the mission of each one of us. We are like Amos. Yes, all of us, we have a background, but God has called us. As soon as we were baptized, we said yes. Even though we are babies, most of us, but as we are growing up, up to this time we are here, we are saying yes. I am your prophet, Lord, and I'm ready to do your work. And that's why sometimes when you have an opportunity to say something and you keep quiet and go home, we feel guilty. Why didn't I say something? So as a prophet, every time the opportunity comes, you have to stand up. Regardless of what you are going to receive back, you have to be like Amos. And that's what even Jesus Christ is showing us when he faced the opposition, when he said, your sins are forgiven. The opposition was strong. Who are you? But Jesus continued to stand up, and he did even more to this person. He gave the person life, the forgiveness, and also uh, the physical uh, health. And that is the same with us. We can give so much, even in our humble way, to so many people who are struggling in different areas of their lives. If only we can stand up with a strong voice in opposition with all that is wrong and bring goodness into the life of people. And that's why even today we have the option, memorial of the first holy martyrs of our Catholic Church. They were strong, they stood up for Christ, and they were ready to die, and they died martyrdom death. So all these people, they remind us, yes, sometimes we have to pay a price even of our lives. Let us now stand and present our petitions and all our needs to God. <clears throat> we pray for all Christians to trust in the forgiveness of the Lord and also to have the same spirit to forgive one another as, it, as true witnesses to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who approach God in prayer that their faith may be strong, their hope serene, and their trust unshakable. We pray to the Lord. For all baptized people in our church that they should stand up for the truth of God in every situation of their lives. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the people of Rome as they honor the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Catholic Church that with the Pope Francis, the Bishop of Rome, they will hold their memory as sacred and seek their intercession. We pray to the Lord. For all the caregivers that they may have the words and spirit of encouragement to the sick who are in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, our God, in your law is found the goodness of truth. May your truth enable justice and peace prevail everywhere through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and your O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we save you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angel and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Jack, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and you graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. On this day, we Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
gave me my hands to reach out to man to show him your love and your perfect plan you gave me my ears I can hear your voice so clear I can hear the cries of sinners but can I wipe away their tears? Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord. Show someone the way and enable me to say. My storage is empty, and I am available to you. Indeed, as prophets, we have to be available to God all the time, otherwise our souls <clears throat> will be empty. So we need to open up our, the whole of our lives so that we become true prophets of God's mission here on earth. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the love and peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Closing hymn can be found on page 497 of our green hymnals. Page 497. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go. His love for all he did show. What he did there brought hope from despair.